Hi pen friends, this is Sarah and Eve and we got a box in the mail recently um, that we wanted to open in a video. Yeah. Wow. What is, who does it say it's from? YouTube. Yep, we got a box from YouTube. Do you want to open it or do you want me to open Thank it? Thank you YouTube. Thank you YouTube. Anyway. Thanks for opening. So this is pretty exciting. I wonder what YouTube might have sent us. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, what could YouTube possibly send us? There's some tape here. Yeah. Might be able to just open it like that. Oh. It's YouTube! Oh my god. Packing peanuts. Okay, yeah. don't crush them all up. The pa the packing S. Mm. What packing do, S. What have we got in here? Oh, what is this? Oh, oh my gosh! There's... Oh my goodness! Oh my Look God. what we got. What does it say? For about to cut insanity. Congratulations on passing a hundred subscribers. Yay! We got our graphite play button. <laughs> so, um, actually, there is apparently something for a hundred um, people who pass a hundred subscribers, which is called the graphite play button. But you don't actually get anything in the mail. So, mm -hmm. even I made this. <laughs> you have to <laughs> make your own award at this level. So, yay! Thank you all our subscribers! Yay! Yay! Thank you so much! Wait, at the end of the video, can we show Como just because we got 100 subscribers um, again? Okay, maybe just, we Just will. like our first video? Yeah. So, yeah, we had fun making that together. And I figured that um, in celebration of passing 100 subscribers on our channel, um, I would show my pen and um, fountain pen ink sample storage. So I have five boxes um, that are um, upcycled cigar boxes that have been made into um, fountain pen storage by a man named John who lives in Pennsylvania and his um, company is called Firebird Box Studio. So if you look up Firebird Box Studio with no spaces in between the words on Etsy, you will find his Etsy store and he has really beautiful um, fountain pen storage boxes as well as boxes for trinkets and different things. So some of the boxes he does um, like a picture on the top of the box. Oh, yeah. And some of the boxes have a window. Ah. Um, so I have this one with the window and this one with the picture on it. Can I open it? Um, what I was thinking is that we're going to show what's inside one of the boxes in this video. And then in future videos, I will show what all the pens that are in these boxes in like an ASMR style soft spoken video. Do you think that would be nice? Yeah. So we're not going to open these ones today, but I am going to show what's in one of the boxes today. So here's another one that's got a window where you can look through to see the pens and it's really pretty. Well, which one are we going to do? Okay, so these four boxes have pens in them and I will show those in a future video. But my fifth box has a picture on it. It's decoupage with a like insects, um, an insects picture on there. And it's a really pretty box. John does a really good job um, like refinishing these boxes and making them really nice. Um, so this box is one of my most recent boxes that I purchased from John and this one was um, not a pen box it was just 
an empty box, but what I did was I made dividers out of cardboard and I put ink vials in there to keep my ink samples in. So um, the usual ink vial that you get when you buy samples from a shop are like this. And I thought when I bought this box that I'd be able to, um, to put those type of ink vials in. And they almost do fit, um, but but no. <laughs> no. When I put them all in there, it made the box gap a little bit so that I couldn't get the snap down. So what I did was on, um, on Amazon, I purchased these kind of vials, which are glass. They're called Kessel glass ink vials. Um, actually, they're not necessarily for ink. You could use these for other things too. But um, they're one six ounce or five milliliter vials and they have write on spots. So they have this area that you can write directly on the bottle. Um, and so I've been labeling them with a uni Pasca paint pen. Is that how you pronounce it? Um, Eve was familiar with these from crafting videos that she's watched. And this one is a 0.7 millimeter um, black pen, which is also called the Ultra Fine. Um, so it works really well on glass. And when you write on there, it dries pretty quickly and then you can rub it without it coming off. But when I change what ink I have in them, I want to be able to relabel these bottles. So the cool thing is it sort of dries like a chalky consistency and I can just use my nail to scratch off the writing when I don't want it to be there anymore. And I can relabel them when I put a different ink in them. But you, can, can um, I label that? So yeah, so these are a little bit shorter than the regular ink vial. But they, and they don't have this part, the angles to a lower area to fill Mom. your pen easily. So what I do when I want to fill my pen, also the top is kind of narrow for fitting a pen in there. So what I do is I take um, an ink miser, which I for forgot to bring over just now. Um, hold on, let me go get my ink miser so I can show you real quick. Be right back. All right, so I'm back. Um, what you can do oh, is oh, pink use and, pink and purple, pink and purple. You can use a mm -hmm. blunt tipped syringe. This is not very sharp. You don't really hurt yourself with it can if you're I, careful. Can I touch it? Let's not do that right now. Um, so you can use the blunt tipped syringe to take the ink out of the little vial and put it into the ink miser, and then fill your pen from here. So um, this might not be something that's practical for everyone. Also, another thing I wanted to mention was that these, um, they're supposed to be watertight, meaning they're not supposed to leak, but I find that they still do a little bit. I've received ink samples in the mail in this type of vial, but I don't think it's the best for, um, keeping ink in there. So, I mean, I'm not going to be mailing these out. I'm just going to be using them to keep my ink in this box. And for that, I think they're pretty nice. They're nice quality. They look pretty. Um, so I'm happy with this solution. And um, yeah, so I've organized mine so that there's like a row of brown and red and then a row of pink and then a row of green so that I sort of know where all my colors are in this box. All right, so um, Can I, do I think that <laughs> I think that's probably about all that I had to say about those and I hope you enjoyed seeing my ink vial storage and I think Eve wanted to show Como at the end of yeah. this video so let me bring him over. Because all right, so here's our little bunny boy. Come on, back. He's cute. Yeah. My little brother. He's a really good bunny. 
Yeah. And I did want to say that um, I also made a little map of all the inks that I had put in my oh. ink vial storage. Oh. So it touched his nose. Um, it touched his nose. So I could just look at this piece of paper that I wrote down what inks I have he, in he, my box in case I don't want to pick them all up and look at the, like look at the bottles that I labeled. Free. All right, so let's, let's say see. goodbye to our viewers and thank them again Wait, for subscribing, okay? I, I, I want to say... Thanks to all our current subscribers and yeah. welcome to all of our new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Yeah, because we would love to get an actual <laughs> Yeah. An actual That's probably not gonna happen, but we for did. <laughs> our channel. All right. So Alright, well so thank you all. If you haven't subscribed you can do it to help us get a real mm. black <laughs> if we ever do. Mm. All right, thanks. Bye. Yeah.